What's going on, guys? Uh, we are here on po the Pokemans Go, and uh, what we're doing today is we are doing some Gyarados, um, some Gyarados evolves. Because if you guys take a look here, um, I am, I mean, I am. What the fuck? Um, oh yeah, let's go ahead. I guess we'll just go down to the actual. Where are they? There they are. Magikarp. So take a look here, guys. Um, we have 1206 candies for the Magikarps. Um, now, you guys might be asking, why the heck do I have so many? That's mainly because Magikarps, if you notice, I'm level 24. Um, and the thing is, is when you level up really fast, um, you well not really fast. If you want, you, once you get to a higher level, around in the twenty, I would say around the twenties, um, you it takes us forever. It takes a whole lot of XP to actually get to the next level. Okay, that's fine and dandy. That makes sense. But the thing is, is while you're doing that, the average amount of you know regular day to day Pokemon that you find, they also go up in CP. All right. So that's also that sounds great. So why am I complaining about it? Is because they're harder to catch with just normal balls. All right. So the thing is, is um, you're gonna need great balls or ultra balls or whatever you may. But the thing with Magikarps, they're always gonna be low CP. Literally, you saw my highest one, 157 out of 1,200. That's the highest one I ca caught at level 24. All right. So that's the reason why I, I've been catching so many. I just catch them because they're easy to catch. All right. So I didn't even at first I didn't even notice, and by the time I noticed, I already had 900 candies. And uh, there's a Pidgey. Actually, before we go into the evolutions of everything or of those three Eridoses, um, we're going. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about about how the XP works. So that was kind of a tip there with the Magikarps um, on how. Um, XP works. Gosh dang it, this freaking freak. Oh my gosh, whatever. Anyways, um, so that was a prime example is I threw a regular ball at that Pidgey and he ran away because he was already 126 CP, which I guess isn't that high. I've seen a couple of close to 400. Uh, but anyways, I also wanted to go through a couple other um, Pokemon evolutions. Um, I think, which one was it? Um... Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go back to the whole XP thing. What I was gonna say. All right. So this is a little bit of a strategy. Uh, everyone kind of already knows this, but I kind of wanted to put it in math term. I don't know if that's boring for you. Um, I'll try to make it fast so it's not boring. So basically, um, if you get 15 Pidgeys, all right, or Weedles or Caterpies, they all work. The reason why they all work is they all take 12 CP or not 12 CP, 12 candies to evolve to the next one. The thing about evolves, no matter if it takes 50, 100, 400 candies, is always going to give you 500 XP. So if you catch 15 Pidgeys, that's going to be 60 candies. All right, 60 candies um, would normally you would think that's what um, a couple evolves, maybe what would that be? Five evolves. Thing is, is it actually comes out to six. The thing is, is you also need extra Pidgeys in order to start the evolving. Um, so you actually need around 21, I think. Um, but you could probably take that back and have 20. Um, and that would give you around 7 or 8 evolves. All right? 7 or 8 evolves would give you, um, if it was 8, let's say the best uh, situation, 8 would be uh, 4,000 experience plus all the experience you get because you get 100 experience per catch. So 21, that's 2,100 plus 4,000. That's a whole... Um, amount of XP of, oh man, I can't do math right now, uh, 6,000, 6,100, I think, I hope I did that right, I can't think right now, yeah, that's right, um, so, uh, that's for just 21, um, 21 hold Pidgeys, that, that, they, that doesn't seem totally crazy, but 21 versus how many normally would you catch to get to get 6,100. That would be 61 Pokemon. So that divides it by third. The reason why this works is because not only do you, when you evolve something, you get a candy back. So most people don't notice. You get a candy back once you evolve something. 
but then you can also trade that in so two candies back so technically all of the evolves are the amount it costs minus two so that's why it works so well with the Pidgeys because it costs only 10 candies to actually evolve um, each Pidgey so that's 10 candies for 500 experience basically that's how it works out um, anyways let's go ahead um, I like I was saying I also want to get some other um, evolves into here okay here's one of them okay so I already have a ride on you can already see right there but I caught um, one that's uh, 698 um, now the bar is not really that close to full but it's pretty good I wouldn't even normally I use a CP calculator to figure this out I think I've done it before and I said this was okay um, IVs I don't really care about IVs until I'm probably over 25 26 27 um, once I'm in those higher levels then I'll start caring a little bit more about IVs because that's when you're starting to hit that peak of um, actual you know um, getting it to where you have to have those IVs high in order to get these Pokemon high um, so that's the reason why I'm not really focusing on those right now I haven't even done any calculations at all anyways um, we're gonna go ahead and evolve him um, let's see what he comes out to uh, let's see here so he goes from a Rhyhorn to a Rhydon he is a ground type so he's gonna be hopefully he's pretty high I hope he's at least 1400 uh, let's go ahead and take a look here uh, come on, come on, baby. You can do it. Right on. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, thirteen thirty-eight. That's probably my strongest ground type. Um, so that's pretty good. It's better than my other ones. I want to see where he stacks against. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh wow, it already went. I forgot it doesn't bring you back to the top. Where is he exactly? Actually, keep going. Uh, there he is. Wow, he's not that high, but <laughs> again, that's pretty good for ground, ground types because they're not really thinking any like uh, Rhydons are pretty good, Golems are pretty good. Um, I evolved a Golem back when I was like 20. I think he's a thousand or something down in 1094. Um, but anyways, uh, so there's that evolve. That's pretty cool. Um, I was gonna do one I don't have, so let me look for that real quick. Oh, here it is. I already know. Okay, so it's my Clefairy into a Clefable. All right, I've never seen what this Pokemon looks like, actually. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, he's not even that high either. Look at his... See, the reason... What you guys want to look for, like, compared to your level and how good your Pokemon can be, is just look at the top bar. Probably uh, you guys mostly already know that. Uh, but he's not that high. Um, now, I could power him up, but I don't really care about this. Um, the reason why I don't care about evolving him and caring about his CP is because... I don't think the multiplier is that great for this Pokemon. Um, he's not going to be one of my top sixes, so I don't really care. Uh, I just want the Pokemon. Um, so, wow, okay, that's what he looks like. He looks, I don't know. <laughs> he looks like he's tired or something because he has, like, squiggles on the side of his, eye, of his eyes or something like that. Uh, but there we go. All right, so that's my first Coflable. Oh, wow, he's actually pretty high. Ah. Uh. Okay, well maybe I should have thought twice. I think if I had the bar all the way up, he probably would be another, probably a couple hundred, probably 1,500 at my level. Okay, I guess we could do an EV, I guess. Uh, I don't, I think, look at his bar. It's really high, 665. The top bar is really high. Let's go make him go raw. Um, I have 100 candy, so I guess I don't really necessarily care. Um, I don't think he's going to be stronger than my strongest one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Evolve, and I, I, I've already used... Once you use the Rainer Sparky, uh, what's the Flareon I want again? I can't remember the Flareon. Once you use them all, once you use the name once, it doesn't work again. It's up to chance again. So that's why I'm not renaming him. But anyways, let's go ahead and evolve him, see what he comes into, see what his CP is. I'm kind of wishing that he's a Flareon, um, but I wouldn't be upset, I guess, with a, um, uh, well, I don't definitely don't want a Jolteon. And I got a Flareon. Sweet. Let's see what his CP is at. Because, let's see, my fire types are starting to bail out on me. They're not as strong. Okay, 16. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. That's a pretty, pretty good multiplier still for him being the second strongest. Okay. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go get the Gyaradoses. The reason why, I mean, <laughs> this is kind of like overkill, I guess, with the Gyaradoses. I don't even know if I, I mean, I guess I got a huge line of Gyaradoses. Um anyways uh yeah the flareon's my top six nice he pushed out my polyrath which i'm really proud about but anyways uh, let's go ahead and go down to the gyaradoses 
Um, now, the thing is, is with these, um, the Gyarados I have that's my strongest one, I had a power him up, and I know what CP, I already know what CP I had him at before I, before I evolved him. Um, so, uh, it's... It was well above a five, 158, but this is the highest one I found in the in the wild. All right, so um, I guess I could power up him twice. I'm gonna power him up twice because I, I have enough to do that. Um, so oh gosh, plus three. Okay, uh, power up again. <laughs> plus four that time. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So let's go ahead. I want to actually leave him from for last. Let's see what the other guys are gonna come out to. Um, again, you could check check the CPs on these. Um, just, uh, I mean, not CPs, IP, I, IVs on these. Um, but right now, like I said, I don't really care that much. Uh, but definitely if you're looking later in the game to get a really strong Gyarados at the top level, you definitely want to check the IV and do that one. Um, which my guess on IVs, I don't know exactly how they work. There's probably some math to it. Of course there's math to it because there's calculators. Um, but I think it has to do with the amount of, of C, uh, CP compared to their, uh, HP. Um, so there we go. He was 668. I think that's top six for me. Um, let's go ahead and do the next guy right here. Um, let's see what he comes out to. Um, I should have checked his health. Uh, so let's go ahead. Evolve him as well. Uh, guys, you don't understand how long I've been saving up. I already have two other Gyaradoses. So technically this is five Gyaradoses, which is crazy. Um, again, this is like the amount of grind I do to get this, uh, to try to get me myself higher level. Um, so here we go. Let's see what he is. Is it going to be top six? I really doubt it. Um, what? He's stronger than my last one. Maybe I should check their IVs. God. Oh no, it's still, it's still a random chance for, for, for the multiplier. All right, let's see if my top guy can actually, oh, I, I forgot. See, look right there. We got two candies from those two evolves. So we have two extra candies, but I still can't power them up. Otherwise I wouldn't have enough. All right, so let's go ahead and evolve him. And let's go ahead. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Be stronger than my strongest. Be stronger than my strongest. You can, I don't know. It's one CP less than my strongest when I evolved him. So let's check it out. Check it out. 18. I think it has to be 813. 8, 1832. It has to be higher than that. And let's see. Let's see. And... Oh, my gosh. A terrible multiplier. Well, not terrible. Of course, not terrible, guys. But not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. All right, so let's go to top. CP power. Let's see what our top sixes look like. That's not... Oh, my gosh. They kept knocking them out of my tops. Only if I had no... I didn't have... I literally caught this Raider. Oh, no, not this one. This... My most powerful Vaporeon. I caught him in the wild. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, I caught him in the, caught him in the wild. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be pretty, basically the, the video. So there's my five... Um, five... Gyaradoses, which is cool. I mean, I guess I can put a bunch of them in gyms and show off. I don't know. Anyways, so that's the video. Thanks so much for, for watching. If you guys can, subscribe. Um, if you like this, we have a couple other Pokemon adventures we're going to do, um, as well as other content on the on the channel. Uh, so go ahead and like if you like. And uh, comment. Um, I don't know. Just comment something because Gyaradoses are awesome. All right. See ya.